put Marcello Lippi's side to work at once. Shane Smeltz heads past keeper Marco Amelia in the 14th minute. New Zealand take the shock lead. Pretty exciting stuff for a country who've never gained a point in the Confederations Cup. But the Italians retaliated nine minutes later. A gentle chip from Fabio Pagliarella and Alberto Gilardino nods it over the line. 1-1 one, one after 33. Three minutes from the break, Kiwi corner kick and Christopher Killen breaks free. Power heads to regain the lead into the half. Starts to get interesting, but three minutes after the half, Gilardino gets on a perfect pass ball and it's past Glenn Moss in goal. Scoreline even once again, 2-2. Two, two. Shortly afterward, Amelia clips the heels of Killen and the keeper pays the price with a spot kick. Killen takes it himself. And it's 3-2. New Zealand are shocking everyone with their persistence. But they falter in the 68th. Andrea Pirlo gets on a stolen ball in the visiting end, sends it forward to Vincenzo Iaquinta, and it's a fast attack. Suddenly, Italy are level for the third time in this game. Iaquinta was subbed on earlier for Pagliarella. And that's a good move by Lippi. Even better, five minutes later, when Iaquinta pounces on a rebound from Ricardo Montalivo. For the first time all game, Italy take the lead keep it the remaining 17 minutes and wipe the dew from their worried brows 4-3 final for Italy.